Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, on this channel, we talk all things finance, getting out of debt and staying out of debt. And today we are talking about ways to save money on groceries and food by meal prepping. So I was invited by Marisha Hart to participate in her Frugal Fridays collab. Every Friday, Marisha talks about everything she did frugally during the week, and I'll link her channel channel down in the description box. She invited me to talk about some of the frugal things that I do. And I will admit, I am not the most frugal person, but if you followed me for like 30 seconds, you already know that. But I was thinking, I feel like my whole life is frugal right now that all we ever do is stay at home and not spend money. <laughs> but one of the biggest ways that we try and save money is with meal prep. Not only does it save money, not only does it save money, but it's super convenient for working mothers. I'm a, as you know, I'm a full-time working mom and I come home and I make dinner for the family. And right now we are a family of five, including my mother and my father. Basically the way I do this is every Sunday I prep as much as I can. I get all of the food ready and then when I come home from work, I just have to pull it out of the fridge and pop it in the oven. I'll make the salad or whatever the night of, and, and usually the rice as well, if I'm having rice or pasta or whatever. But the things that I can prep ahead of time, cut, chop, mix, whatever, that's what I do ahead of time. And then I go ahead and I make all of my lunches, all of Mauricio's lunches and all of Melina's lunches and snacks for school on Sundays and so in the mornings it's done and easy. So how do we start out by doing that? Basically what I do is Thursday or so I start looking at recipes. I have a notebook with recipes that I've accumulated that we like and I'll pick a couple of recipes out of there and then probably a couple more off the internet that I will print out and ones that we've never tried or were interested in trying. And so I will make a spreadsheet of a list of all of the ingredients in every single recipe, cause I love me a spreadsheet. And then I will go through that list and I will cross things off that we have in the house. And I will, I'm kind of particular <laughs> and I actually have to physically touch like the items because a couple of times I was like, oh, we have that and we didn't. And then I'm missing things and that's unfortunate. So I go through each individual item and I cross it off if we have it or leave it on the grocery list. And nine times out of 10, it's about 60 to 75% of the things on the list we already have at home, which is fantastic. So it's Sunday and that means we got some meal prepping to do. Want to know what we're eating this week? So do I, because I can't find the list. Mind the mess, I have pulled all of the stuff that I'm going to need together. Here, let me show you. See that? All of that is food prep. <laughs> One thing you will notice about us is we tend to buy things in bulk. For example, soy sauce. If it's not gonna go bad, we will buy it in bulk and then go ahead and continue using it over and over. And so it is a huge way we save money, especially with meat at Costco. You'll see in the very back, back here, that right there is actually ground beef. And it came in one of those huge like 10 pound things and basically I use my sealer it's really hard to point backwards and I use my sealer which is right here to freeze the meat into these bricks here I'll hold hold on I'll show you so basically I freeze the meat into these flattened bricks that I you know put the meat in and then roll it out with a rolling pin and then I freeze it flattened and I'm, it makes it so much easier to store and find in the deep freezer. So by bulk purchasing meat, we actually save a huge amount of money and we'll buy better cuts of meat, package it up and put it in the freezer and use it for meals. So this week we are having fish with mango salsa, beef stroganoff, flank steak tacos, shrimp po' boys, 
and chicken satay with peanut dipping sauce. Most of these recipes are Weight Watcher friendly as well, if you can believe that. But shh, don't tell my dad. He would refuse to eat it if he knew it was somewhat healthy. Granted, we do have two red meat things in there, but that's... It's a big thing in our house is red meat. So with my lunches, I generally just make something quick. It's usually a grain and then some vegetables. And then I made this Thai peanut dipping sauce last week. And then I just pour some over that. And that's what I eat for my lunches. They're super easy to make. Mauricio's lunches, Mauricio likes a substantial lunch. In Colombia, lunch is the biggest meal of the day. And while he has adapted to eating the large dinner meals, he also likes to have a large lunch meal. So basically with Mauricio's lunches, if I have leftovers for anything, I put it in a Pyrex dish. Hold on, I'll show you. So I put it in these Pyrex dishes. They're three cups of food, which is more than enough. I generally only put about two cups of food in there. And then I put it in the freezer and he pulls whatever out. I've labeled each one of these with this little freezer tape on the top. And so he can just pick whatever he wants. And I have, you know, between 10 and 15 in there at any given time. And he just pulls something frozen out, throws it in his lunch bag, and then he makes smoothies for us for breakfast. And, and that's basically our meals for the day. So these are the recipes that I selected. And basically with each recipe, I'm going to make part of it. So for the beef stroganoff, I'll go ahead and chop everything up and get it ready to go. And then I'll come home from work and just heat it up in the pan. I will tell you, I have made some disastrous decisions with, with doing this kind of cooking ahead of time. Like a couple of weeks ago, I made enchiladas, which I make wonderful enchiladas and everybody loves them. And I did them meal prep way. And that was a fatal error because sitting in enchilada sauce for three days makes enchiladas really soggy. So Basically what I learned with that is there are some things that you need to immediately make and throw in the freezer and let them freeze and then pull them out frozen and cook them in the oven. So it is a learning process, but I kid you not, this has saved me so much stress and so much time as a working mother and so much money. Melina has misplaced my apron, so I'm going to have to use her play apron. So right here, I have some yogurt that I made earlier. The beef stroganoff calls for sour cream. I am going to be using yogurt in place of the sour cream. And I made this yesterday in my Instapot. See, look here. Instapot. Have I mentioned how awesome my cousin is for giving me an Instapot? So I made yogurt in the Instapot yesterday, easiest thing in the world. I love, 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 love it. And I'm gonna use part of it for the stroganoff and then the rest of it I will probably make, I use lemon, where? Lemon extract or coconut extract. And I make flavored yogurt with those and with the lemon, I'll grate some lemon zest and the coconut extract, I'll put some coconut flakes in. And sometimes I'll put like a couple of little pieces of dark chocolate and almonds too, to make a homemade cocoa loco. So amazing. So yogurt is done. So I'm gonna put the yogurt in this jar before I get started. As you can see, we use all jars for everything. So I guess this is another frugal thing that I've done because I make my own yogurt and it costs nothing, just a half a gallon of milk. Now, there are some secrets to successful food prep. One of those is never put any anything bready in. Bread gets mushy. So noodles, pasta, no pre-soaking rice, those kind of things you do not want to put in until the day you're going to cook. A good rule of thumb is if it doesn't absorb water on its own, for the most part, it will be fine in liquid. So like meats and vegetables, most vegetables will be fine sitting for several days. Cornstarch, never, ever, ever add cornstarch to something that you are going to make ahead of time. Cornstarch has to go in the day. 
Otherwise, you get this big gelatinous mess. So is food prep something that interests you? Is it something that you'd like to see more of? Um, I do it every Sunday and I absolutely can film some more of these videos and give you recipe ideas and stuff like that. I can take you through a whole week of menu to show you what I do. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if that is something you'd like to see. We have a church thing to go to in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna put anything perishable away back in the fridge, and then I will come back and finish up this evening, and I'm not gonna bore you with all of that. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.